One. Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another exciting update for the Bad Games thread for PN03. I still have Jay here with me. Hi. I chained him up for uh, this exciting level because we actually not only get to use a brand new suit, but we also get a brand new change of environment. Oh yeah. <laughs> it it won't be uh it won't be white corridors this time. No, we're actually going to be going back outside. Seems we have to destroy another enemy core, which after last time, I, I'm not too worried. I have uh, good feelings. Let's see how long those last. In the yeah. brown. In the lovely brown. Look at just really using the GameCube's color palette to its full potential of uh, brown. brown. Yeah. Also, we get some uh, we get some brand new enemies. These flying enemies. Uh, what, what were they called, Jay? White Weisberg. Weisberg. Yeah. There's yeah. no apparent flower name. Um. Or if there is, I can't find it. Now they're actually kind of nasty. Yeah. They. Uh, as you've probably been able to tell, they move very quickly and erratically and. They do quite a bit of damage with their their massive ass laser, and for the the main benefit of the particular suit I'm wearing right now is it has a lot of defense and not great offense, but it does have some interesting energy drives, such as uh, you said that one was the Griffin. I believe so. Yep, that's the Griffin. You know the all the the AOE burst attacks that. that Griffin does. Um, it it's good for up close. It's good for uh, taking care of larger groups, as you can as you can tell. It takes care of these uh, these burks at uh, at a fairly good pace, and it, it's actually pretty cheap. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't have a lot of range. Yeah, it has piss all range, and in a game where getting near something and having it explode in your face is. Apparently, common game mechanics, uh, that's kind of a detriment. And this is the Tengu. Also, um, the tank is very inappropriately named for something so heavy and nasty. Yeah, what, it's, uh, it's the Gardenia. Yes. The terrible Gardenia. That also, uh, sorry, uh, just to, just to correct you, uh, Pegasus. Oh, Pegasus, I do apologize. You... You yeah. Whenever we were doing the the tests or the the pre commentary, uh, you love calling that one the Tengu. Yeah. But uh, we we won't be we won't be seeing the Tengu for a while. Yeah. The Tengu is actually the most powerful one. Yeah. Uh, the Pegasus is fine. It's good for for single targets. Uh, apparently, it like it, the lasers from it do penetrate through enemies, but for the most part, enemies don't really line up in the game. Yeah. So also, it, see how delicate and lithe and lissom the gardenia is. <laughs> yeah. It. I don't know. The the Japanese are sometimes not great with naming things. Either that, or they're taking the piss. No, nah, this is a serious game. This is a serious game about dancing and uh, tedium. Butts. All the butts are belong to us. Yep. But um, so yeah, uh, as you can probably tell, out of energy now. Uh, the the this defense armor, not really great in the energy department. And Pegasus, honestly, uses about a third of your bar. And this this is the the suit is fully powered up. So this is as good as this suit's gonna get. The, the one main benefit that it has outside of defense is that it has uh, a special feature known as automatic. Automatic makes it so you shoot automatically. So it's, it's good to save your finger, but considering that you do really bad damage, it's kind of a trade-up. And these wheeled enemies are the iris, or irises. Or... Irises, yes. I iris I. I think it's still irises, but whatever. Yeah, we we saw them at the at the little intro outdoor area, and they're still dicks. Well, yeah, they're more more okay. tedious. Yeah, they they don't do a lot of damage, 
they mostly just throw them at you in large numbers here in a very open arena and your shots just well as, as they're strafing around your shots are never going to really connect with them so you pretty much have to wait for them to rush directly at you and well that's kind of why I've gone to this little paddock area to hopefully funnel them in uh, especially with the if I had uh, worn out like the suit from the previous update honestly they would be going down in like two shots yeah. but now that they take like five shots it becomes kind of a tedious affair. Still, did pretty well on the combo here. Yeah, I mean, 9,800 points is good. In in the end, it's still just grinding trial missions. Yeah. Which is, which is fun to think about that now after this stage, they'll start shoving in canyon levels, or canyon maps into the, the trial missions. So, ah, I look forward to doing this over and over and over again but you know some something caught uh, something caught my eye in this far corner over here uh, it's a it, it is a continue so it, it is kind of good to get but uh, now we gotta walk back a, so uh, how about those windmills <laughs> yeah there there's some lovely turbine power on unnamed dust planet. I think we might still be on Ode, which I think is what they named the planet at the start. I I don't know if it ever comes up. I don't know if there's some evil organization that built the the what was it, the Death Star tunnel? Yeah, the, this is basically the Death Star trench run, only without as many guns. Yeah, and without as much difficulty. More just tedium. Pain tedium. Because, as we've already seen, the Gardenia, much like in nature, is uh, a treacherous beast. It uh, just has a lot of health. And while initially it may seem very daunting, especially it, its attacks may seem very unrelenting and dangerous, in all reality, they are just bullet sponges. They don't move. They're not threatening. They are just massive, tedious bullet sponges. Also, they take longer to kill than they actually give you combo for. Yeah, I think I think they give you about 20 seconds for a combo, and that 20 seconds is already gone, and it's only down to half health. Uh, so, how about the only the only benefit I can see? at least from using this particular suit on this particular mission, is that I saved my finger from going into Carpal Tunnel. Yeah. Which I think fingers fingers can go into Carpal Tunnel, I'm sure. But the uh, the, t the torment isn't done yet. Nope. We got another 40-second uh, long fight to contemplate uh, why this isn't a bad game. Actually, uh, I, I, I think I saw a comment earlier on one of my videos saying, How can you say that PN03 is a bad game? This thing is a masterpiece. It's not tedious or repetitive or shallow or ill thought out. It's. But. It's. So, sorry, it's I was distracted by the butt. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, at, le at least with automatic. You know, I can just stick my finger on the button, have the other hand work my work my beats. Because obviously, uh, the combination of haze and butt is uh, it's what the fanboys were looking for in their fan service. I think uh, I think after having watched X Blade enough, uh, that game could do for some more uh, brown and haze. Because I mean, this game. Is just doing so well with it. I uh, don't know. I think it needs the invisible iPod that Vanessa obviously has. Yeah. I th I think I think they actually stuck in this particular level to make you want more just white corridors again. Because they're like, well, if we don't give you white corridors, we're gonna give you brown outdoor shit town. <laughs> so you got a choice, and I think the choice is obvious. White corridors. Turn off the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a better <laughs> choice. 
But yeah, uh, we're actually we're actually close to done with this stage. We just had to get yet another hidden away continue, hundred percent completion. All out, man. They're all out on hiding them. Also, uh, we do get an obscenely long corridor. I th they they try to mask it with uh, with some height differential, but it, it's still a corridor. Also, I, n I never noticed it before, but. Uh, I don't know what those turrets were firing at. They just seem to be shooting at the ground for no real reason. Well, at least that makes even less challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess if I didn't, if I, if I had to expend it all my my energy drive again, this would have been a hard corridor to go through, but otherwise, look, no damage. Uh, that's, I think, one out of six rooms I actually managed to get no damage on. But, well, they give us, they're giving us an energy refill, so I guess that means we're at the core now. Wait, what? Cutscene? Yep. Oh. Appar apparently, by the uh, expression on her face. Uh, we're, we, we've been ambushed. Oh no. Uh, this, this is actually kind of a dangerous, uh, thing to, or a, a dangerous instance to be in. They, uh, they give us three gardenias, uh, a couple of, uh, kill zems. Kill-zems? Yep. Uh, well, I think, yeah, they have the machine gun and the, uh, the missile. Oh yeah, kill and the peas. Yeah. Yeah, so it's dangerous. They, Plenty of gardenias to spawn in, and that, that's why, honestly, it is a good idea. Or it's actually really helpful that they did give us that energy refill because it, if you're picturing in your mind me standing here just holding down the firing button for like 20 minutes, then you probably have imagined what one of the previous runs was like. Joy. Yeah. Also, we're gonna briefly see in a minute one of the um, Gardenia's final attacks. Yeah, it actually, it, it does something additional as opposed to uh, nothing, which is, uh, if you let it live for long enough, as you saw that, that further one, it will actually split up into a spider bot and a bat. But this is made negligible because if you destroy one part, it apparently destroys both parts. So uh, now we just were left with the final boss. Pretty much. Which I still managed to fuck up on. But yeah, kind of a dangerous encounter, but nothing that Vanessa can't dance through. But with that, uh, I guess we we can take the day off tomorrow. So that's that's good. She's. I want to think. Uh, she's going to play uh, some Left 4 Dead. Yeah, but one thing, Jay, for joining me. Thank you. Thank. See you next time. See ya.